hello my viewers good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching me from my courtesy is extended to you you're welcome once again to the channel ends time truth television the lord bless you for being there this video that you're about to watch i actually featured it in my live session that i did a few minutes ago and uh, you know if you have not watched that live session uh witchcraft in the church i will suggest you look for it here now god bless you i'm not going to dwell so much on this but i will see you at the end of the video is about a certain prof pastor um the, the guy is from nigeria anyway he's a nigerian pastor and um suddenly in the full glare of the congregation he turned water into red wine and so i'd like you to go in watch the video and uh i'll be seeing you at the end of the video god bless you endeavor to watch uh at least majorly to the end i'll be seeing you soon thank you The devil has brought a lot of deception in the church. These so-called men of God, are taking advantage of their gullible followers. I wonder what level of ignorance is this? This man of God has performed a fake miracle in church. Let's watch and judge it for yourself. Do you guys believe this miracle? Do you think this was a genuine miracle? What level of ignorance is this?
That indication you saw wasn't my idea. It was the video I decided I wouldn't um, edit it. I just uploaded it the way it is. So I am not the one who wrote that uh, you saw there. Thank you. Somebody clap for Jesus Christ. Jesus. Kulote bob na nefele Jesus ake bob. Get me call. Let's eat. Get the new test. Taste. Very Bring up, bring up. Bring up. Shake up to everybody. Shake up to everybody. Go back to your seat. You will have your call. Something like a bigger cup, growing up, Malaya. No, no. Somebody celebrate Jesus Christ. 
Shall not pass the name Jesus Christ. As it was in the Bible. It was seen on the body. I'm going to miss you. How did this man? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Hallelujah. I'm allowing the most to the end. I'm not going to go right now to compare with it. So, by the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And as come and text. Text. Fresh by itself. Text. I've never tested wine like this. I've been taking wine right from even in overseas and so. Honestly, it's wonderful, it's fantastic. Test it. Everyone come. And ask. Come. Here you go. Come and test. Drop up okay, this is fast. the drama you saw it i i didn't edit the video now like i indicated in the middle of the video the the right uh, the, the signal that you saw there wasn't my idea i decided to leave it like that i didn't edit it edit it so i'm i'm not going to uh, argue whether that was faked whether it was real or not because i really didn't see how it was possible for the video to be all for the um the content in the in the pan to be changed because that was done in the full glare of the congregation so i want to uh take two things out of it there are two possibilities one out of these two i i was not able to contact you know a brother who is a brewer who uh would have been able to tell me if there is the possibility of uh, a chemical reaction you know because the water that uh uh, the bottles were emptied into that can uh, the content of the water that were emptied into the into the pan rather uh, is a is um, a water from a, a bottling company in Nigeria is actually owned by a coca-cola NBC Nigerian bottling company now but we know like the the fake prophet from Kenya who was using uh, is a potassium to produce blood from you know the legs of the people or the hands of the people if the one that thing touches them and there is water the thing will turn to blood and so the congregants will think that uh you know they had problem so i wouldn't know if there is any kind of chemical reaction that can you know water plus something and something and when you put it together you allow it for some time you know when you time it the thing can uh turn that way i wouldn't know all right but if that is not a possibility, me as a person, I don't believe that God was involved in that. I will tell you the reason why I don't think God was involved in that. I have my reasons. And so if that was not a chemical reaction, then it will be witchcraft. All right. It will be magic. All right. So now let me tell you the reason why uh, I don't think that God was involved in that. Now, 
there was no reason why a man of God should come to the service and the most important thing that he, he must do would be to turn water into wine. Now when Jesus the Lord did that miracle, there was the need. And Jesus was not coming to that wedding purportedly or having at heart that today I'm going to turn water into wine. But in the middle of the wedding, the Bible you know, tells us that the host ran short of wine. And Mary, the mother of Jesus, came to him. And apparently, uh, that wedding was, the, the wedding host actually probably was either a family member or a family friend. Because the Bible tells us that Mary was there, but Jesus and his disciples, you know, were invited also to the wedding. So Jesus, the Lord, was invited. He went. And so while they were in the occasion, there was the need for wine to be provided. And because they had run short of wine. And because this was going to cause shame and and Jesus was there and the mother knew who Jesus was and I, I think that was the first miracle that our Lord Jesus did in the open and so she came to him and said they don't have wine that was just you know the statement and Jesus turned and said woman don't you know that it is not yet my time but then there was the need if if Jesus didn't provide that wine there was going to be there was going to be a shame and so Jesus had to prevent the shame had to you know help to cement um you know a, a package that occasion so that the disgrace that was about to happen wouldn't be that pronounced and jesus did what he did there was the need it was needed it was necessary and so the lord had to do it and mind you that the pot of water the the you know the pot was they were not all the pots were not having water so the people had to go and fetch water to fill the 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 pots but here in this place you found out that um, the, the miracle was already premeditated and that premeditation me meant that, um, um, what is it called now, those waters were already bought and the pan, the new pan was already bought. So from the house, this man of God knew that today I am going to turn water into wine. Now, the question is, what was the edification point or the value of that water that was turned into wine? Because God would not do things that are frivolous. The Lord, the Lord has so many people you know, calling on him for certain things. So he wouldn't come to do things that were just to glorify the pastor and not glorifying God. I tell you, that was unnecessary. Now, when the Lord Jesus multiplied the bread, the, two, the five loaves of bread and two fishes, also there was need. Now, the power and anointing of the Holy Ghost is given to the church for the edification of the body of Christ. It's not for the selfish uh, 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 um, exaltation or the, the, the selfish aggrandizement of the pastor who, who just wants to uh, bloat his ego. Now, so this, you know, uh, is, is the reason why when I look at it, I say no. Now, in that congregation, if that man was that uh, anointed that he could turn water into wine, I want to believe that there were sick people in that church. You know, Africans, we don't, uh, we, in, in a congregation of 10, in a congregation of 10, definitely you must have two or three or four persons who came in because I am sick, I need money, I need husband, and all that, uh, you know, uh, who is being chased about by witchcraft. And so, there are many of them in that church. So why would, uh, why would he dissipate or waste that anointing on just turning water into wine just for people to see how highly anointed he was or he is? And so, I am my submission, and this is my opinion, and at least I think I'm entitled to one. My opinion is that God was not involved in that thing that you, you, you just watched. All right, and so the 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 confusion now, the or the worrying part of it, is how these people, you know, uh, gladly rushed and emptied the the pan filled with that substance. Yeah, somebody would say that it was safe because he too claimed part of it that that was his own, and I heard him calling for his daughters or something like that that they should come and have theirs. So you would say it was safe. Even though um, that we know also that in this part of the world, you can eat the same meal with, with a wish doctor. And 
while the witch doctor has eaten an uh, antidote of the poison that was in the in the meal you will think that okay since he's eating with me uh it's okay and so a few minutes later this person will be dying and the witch doctor because he has take, already taken an antidote you know freely goes away and nothing happens to him meanwhile i'm not saying that that was what the man has done but what i want to say is that once it is not to the glory of god god is not in it god is not in it like i pointed out you know my brother jesse tv in that video now that stunt was just to sell the man and you will see people those congregation those those congregants those worshipers that congregation rather will you know spread this news far and wide and near whosoever that cared to hear the news would get to hear it and that that actually was the focal point that was that was the reason why that miracle was staged or should i say that magic was done like i said i wouldn't know how that was performed but like if it was not a chemical reaction it would be magic let me make you to understand that the message that jesus gave to the apostles to the disciples when he said go ye into all the world preach the gospel to every creature and make disciple of all men now these people who are, are so much interested in gathering multitude gathering members are not disciples they are not discipling anybody but they are just they are just obsessed with getting members and so they can go to the extreme to get you know one one kind of miracle or one kind of magic you know to do, uh, you know to be done and that would be enough to add um at least a hundred persons to the church and so he will also devise another means of doing another things so uh, my opinion is that that was not of god well i've just given you my opinion i'd like you to put down your own opinion please respectfully as a child of god put down your own opinion what do you think do you think that was real? Do you think that God did that? Do you think it was of God? If you think it was of God, please put it down and tell us how and why you think it was of God. Meanwhile, I want to solicit, I want to plead with you to share the link to the video. Like the video if you do. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so before. We count on you uh, to help us spread the, the, you know, the gospel of the kingdom. We are actually doing this. It is the light against darkness. And so it has not been easy. But we count on the Lord and, and your support that the Lord will help us using you to help us to reach out to others. So I plead once again, share the link to the video and uh, the good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll be seeing you shortly in the next video. Until then, I remain your brother in the Lord and from me to you, Shalom. Don't drink it, lift it up, stand up and lift it up. Let us celebrate the wonders of our own side of. It's okay, this one is my own now. It's okay. Everybody, go, 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 go. Please share it with your neighbor. Then join in and after I'll be eating there. I say thanks. Jacob, why do you want to leave? Sandro, when you want to leave, as it was, are you finished your own? I am Messias. As it was in the time of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. As it was in the time of Jesus Christ. Share to your neighbor. I am going to share to share Sando. When you want to
One, two, three. What do you get? One, two, three. What do you get? This is a hidden wine. It must say in the worst failure in life. Somebody shout amen. It's a miracle wine. What do you get? The one. What do you get? The one. Of course, one, two, three. When you have the problem. Over and over again, my miracle. It's a miracle wine. For to get a miracle, you will be a man of God. Maybe you don't know. Oh no, I never. You don't know what you're doing. What problem? For today, the king has put this miracle wine. Miracle, you will be a man of God. Now, Jesus. Somebody shout and now that amen. Oh, what are you? What are you? What are you doing? Get chop up, come on, little man, chop up. Did you come now? Yo yo. You want to be a man? You are a miracle worker. But Jesus made a miracle on my own. I see now, since I don't have a man, I don't know my wallet, I guess I can't do it. Sweet wine. Sweet wine. Sweet wine. Let's see all of them. Get those out.